So let's get now back to that breaking news where part of a building collapsed in the Bronx. The images are stunning. And former FDNY Commissioner Thomas Von Essen is joining us on the phone. And uh, former Commissioner Von Essen, thank you so much for joining us. When you see these images that are so striking and so much destruction, what does that tell you about what may have happened here? Well, it looks they were. It looks like they were uh, had scaffolding up to inspect the building and uh, probably follow the the laws we put in to make sure that a building, even though it looks good, all brick and looks like. Then we lost the former commissioner's microphone. Uh, t Thomas, do you do you hear us now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay good. Gotcha. We got you back now. Can you repeat what you said about now we're showing you the images so everyone can see how that part of the building in Morris Heights in the Bronx yeah, I mean, collapsed this see, afternoon? What do you see? You can see the scaffolding all around the building, which uh, means that they were doing work. How much work, what they were doing, you don't know exactly. They were probably inspecting it to see if there's any structural damage. Obviously, there was. They didn't get to it fast enough. Maybe the rain recently uh, made it even weaker. Maybe when they put up that... Um, that moving scaffold today, you know, or when they were up there and they're working on it, they may have uh, put too much weight on one corner of it. It looks like they pulled the whole uh, end of the building. Oh, it's, it's very unusual to see it break away so clean like that. That's what struck Adam and I, that it's, it's essentially just the corner there, Commissioner. Uh, let's yeah. talk about, have you heard anything about injuries? We're still working to find out that information. So speak to that for us, please, and then what this type of rescue operation would look like if there are any injuries. Well, you don't know. Um, you're relying on people that were there to say that whether a co-worker was underneath that when the scaffolding broke. So uh, it obviously was very heavy. It broke the wooden scaffolding that they, the, the panels that they have that they were working on or protect the people in the street. So uh, somebody could be under there. It looks loose. So there's hope uh, if there is somebody that they're, they're not, you know, really compacted down. They may have just been injured, or they could have heard it coming down and everybody gotten out of the way. So I, I don't know uh, any more than what I'm watching on, on your show. What, what, do, what do you make of the what the response is from the FDNY? What would the priority be when uh, the authorities come out to that sort of scene that you're looking at here? Uh, you know, obviously protecting the public, but also trying to make sure that if there's anybody in there, they get rescued. Yeah, the first thing that guys are going to worry about when they get there is uh, find a witness and find out if there's a reputable person to tell them there's nobody under there, so then they'll operate a little bit differently. They'll want to get up into the building and move people out of those floors, uh, especially that side of the building, because you don't know how much more damage. That, that could be bad all the way to the, um, uh, you know, the fire escapes. You just don't know. So they've got to get more people up there, get everybody out of there for a while so they can make sure how extensive the damage is. All right, former FDNY Commissioner Thomas Von Essen, we thank you for joining us. Obviously, still very early in this investigation. Uh, we appreciate your time, and I understand our producer telling us we have uh, Terry Monahan on the phone right now, one of our NBC analysts here. Terry, you know, with your history uh, with the NYPD, talk to us about your first thoughts when you're looking at this scene so early in the investigation. Mike, the first thing you're doing is uh, you're talking to people on the streets, and you're getting word that it is an occupied building. Whether or not the side that collapsed people were in, uh, that's something that they're going to have to work on. Uh, but originally, you're working under the thought process that there were people in there, that there were people trapped. So you have your quick emergency response between fire and the emergency service units. And it's them putting together this tactical plan right now. How can we safely get into these areas that collapsed? How can we start searching for, for individuals that may be uh, trapped there? Everyone is responding. Uh, I know the technical assistance unit from the NYPD uh, is on the scene. They have the drones. They have the robots that can get into tight locations, as does special operations over in the fire department. All this technology is being used right now. The main priority at this point in time is looking for people that may be trapped and get them out as quickly as possible. Yeah, those, those tools certainly going to come in handy. We're talking to former NYPD Chief of Department Terry Monahan. And Terry, this video that's on loop right now is from the Citizen app. We have a crew that's that's going to be at the scene shortly. But when you see this, uh, do you, you're concerned at all about the people around that building and, and maybe when the NYPD is there trying to make sure that people stay farther back? Very concerned. Way that collapse, that there's going to be people trapped. You know, the patrol officers from the NYPD, they're missing right now. Get everyone back. Let's evacuate everyone as far away from that building and the surrounding buildings as quickly as we can. 
in case there is an additional collapse that could occur. And that's the problem that the uh, fire department and the emergency service units, those professionals who do this on a regular basis, have to be concerned about uh, making sure while they're doing the searches that nothing is going to collapse on top of them. That's why there's so much technology that gets used right off the bat to try and find survivors. And, and former Commissioner uh, Van, Von Essen was talking to us, Terry, just specifically about how odd it is seeing just the corner of the building there. He talked about some of the scaffolding. What's your take on this as we work to learn about any possible injuries here? That's something that's going to take a little while. That's the Department of Buildings is going to have to go uh, take a good look at it, take a look at the history of what work permits were filed, what work was done, what inspections were done of these buildings. This is going to be a, uh, a long look. This isn't something that happens naturally. Uh, so there's going to have to be a good investigation to find out uh, if there's any culpability for what occurred. Okay, Terry, we've got another look here now from a different angle from the Citizen app, this video uh, showing it from the other side. Again, this is in Morris Heights in the Bronx. Um, you know, a busy area, as you can see, commercial, residential, a lot of people nearby. And you mentioned one of your concerns right now would be making sure that everybody else around there is safe so that there isn't more damage to the, uh, that's already been done. Exactly. And I know they rerouted all of the bus routes that go over there traffic agents are on the scene. So these are the coordinated efforts that take place away from the actual event to get people away from that area to allow the specialized unit to get in there and do the work that they're going to need to do to make this building safe again. Mm. Yeah, because obviously when we look at this, this new angle of the video here, we do see a lot of people still pretty close to the scene as this was just coming in. So like you said, look at that shot right there. People are literally right next door to it there. So um, Terry, talk a little bit about uh, just kind of reiterate when it when it comes to injuries and searching for people underneath all that as we speak, what your crews would be doing right now. They'd be using technology right now. You have to put it, put up your drones. You have to put up uh small robots that can go into tight spaces to take a look to see where people are. Uh, have to test to see if areas are safe enough for first responders to go into, but the last thing you want to do is have to rescue your own people while you're doing a search for others. So making sure things are secured, securing what you can prior to getting into an area to search, making sure it's safe before you can go in there. So this is, again, Fire department, uh, along with ESU, they are the experts at how to be able to shore things up. And they're going to be running this jointly until they're sure there's, uh, if there are any people trapped. Okay. Former NYPD Chief of Department Terry Monahan, thank you so much for your perspective as we continue to follow this breaking news where you see uh, on Burnside Avenue, not too far from the Major mm -hmm. Deegan in Morris Heights, part of a building that has collapsed. And it is dramatic looking at these mm -hmm. images here of the destruction on the ground. Uh, this just happening within the last hour or so. So we've got a crew on the way and we're going to continue following this breaking news to try to get some more information. Yeah, it's so odd just looking at that video, seeing how it is literally just the corner there. They talked about seeing the scaffolding there on the ground. And, you know, you can also wonder, we don't know any specifics yet. We're still trying to figure out if there are any injuries in this. They're just responding 